Um, now I'm going to show you how to place um, video or audio. Um, so let me just delete this for now. So what you want to do is find your... Uh, I'm going to do video first. So let me find... Uh, so here's a, a MP4 file. Uh, there's a variety, several different versions that work, but I think uh, MP4s are the most um, common for what we're uh, working with. I'm trying to find a smaller file, but let's just use this. So I'm going to drag this in here. So here it is right here. I'm going to drag that. This is like seven minutes long. That's why I'm hesitating. So when I place this, I want to place it proportionally. So it doesn't, so I'm just clicking and dragging to the edge of the page or whatever wherever I want it to be. And notice the left and right, the cross angle lines uh, uh, fill out. And now I'm taking the edge of the bounding box and moving it to the edge of the actual video. And I'll move it up a little bit to the top of the page. Now, um, now I'm going to go under uh, media. Uh, let's see, it should be here. If I go to View, Window, Interactive, Media, okay, it'll show that video there. And I can, you know, preview it, etc. Okay, and I'm going to go and pick a uh, the poster, which is the teaser frame from one where we're playing, like that, okay? So that's going to be our... Right there, that's where it's going to have the teaser photo be like that. Um, you can also go in and choose something. And that's useful. Um, you know, maybe you take an image and put a, a play icon on the top of it just to make sure people know that it's a video. You can loop them. Um, I think this uh, would be helpful for if you're doing a cover and had a bunch of images in it. Anyways, um, you could also have it play on page load. But I want to choose a controller, and there's a bunch of them, and you can test them, but um, I just did skin overall, and there is um, all kinds of different ones, but I'm not doing that. Skin overall. Um, so, uh, and that's all that you have to do, okay? So then, I'm going to take that page, and I'm going to put it in my folio builder, okay? So remember, we have our folio my magazines I'm adding it okay and it's called uh, this is called video right so I'll go inside of that and there's video I've already loaded it so I'm, I'm just gonna preview it again and let's see if it shows up and there it is and when I click on it it turns into a player and starts from the beginning and I can so glad you stay tuned I can navigate through it and so forth. So okay. uh, this this is probably the simplest like uh, overlay uh, for video playing. Okay. Uh, it's been recently you need to update your article. Please select update in the flyout menu. So I'm gonna click update and update. Okay, and now it's updating that article because I've made changes to it. Okay, all right. So now I'm going to show. Give me a second. See, because that video is so long, um, it's taken a long time to update. But while it's doing that, I'm going to show you how to uh, place an MP3. So now I just take an MP3 file, take that, and drag it onto the page, and I just click that. And that doesn't really do anything. All it does is have to be on the page. So I can just move it way over here. You don't see it. You don't interact with that directly. That just has to be on the page somewhere. So I'm just putting it down here. Okay. So now I'm going to go take, uh, I'm going to go find um, one of those buttons. I'm going to go get a, another play button. Uh, let's see, uh, let me find a simple play button here. Here we go. Even though that's the wrong direction, uh, let's just grab this one. Uh, 
back to video here and just dragging this button here, this one right here, into here, even though that's a hideous button. Okay, now I'm going to program that. And again, I go up to the window interactive media and I want to say, let me pause this. Remember, first we have to convert this to a button, right? Object, interactive, convert to button. Okay, and I'll call this um, Santa's Santa at Mall, because that's the name of the song. On release or tap, I want to play sound. And only because there's only one sound in there, that's all it's going to ask for. So I'm going to hit um, save, and that button is programmed. Okay. Let's see there. Okay, and now I'm going to reload it back in the portfolio, and I'm going to pause this because it takes so long. So I'm uh, back to my video page, and I'm going to hit preview loads it and I hit it and the song doesn't start for a second but there it goes it's our so then when I close this again it's gonna say this isn't quite up to date you should update it at some point the other thing you do is uh, program a stop button or a pause button and there are some again um, some prefab stuff you can find uh, in here. Uh, you don't have to worry about that for the video buttons because it gives you those audio, audio, those overlays. But for the um, music, um, we'll see what we can find. Otherwise, you just got to program your own. Um, it if you hit this button, it starts it, and you hit this button, it stops it. So that can work too.